What we're going to do in this video is think about what multiplying fractions really mean. And let's start with 2 times 1 third. What do you think this is going to be equal to? Well, there's a couple of ways that we could represent this. We could take a whole here. So that is a whole. And let's split it into thirds. So three equal sections. My drawing isn't perfect, but let's say assume that it is perfect. Well, 1 third of that whole that would be one of the three equal sections. So if I say two times that, that would be two of these. So I could draw another hole there and split it into three equal sections and then just shade in a third or one of those three equal sections. So I have one and two of these thirds. So you could literally say I have two thirds. So you could say I have two thirds now. Another way that might be useful to think about it is, imagine if we just start with a hole over here. Ignore this on the left-hand side for a second. So if we just had a hole over here, and I split it into thirds. So we're going to start with 1 third. That's 1 third right there. But we're saying 2 times 1 third. So we're going to have two of these. So that's one of them. That would be 1 times 1 third. And then 2 times 1 third would be one more of those. So in total, how much do we have? Well, I filled in two of the three equal squares here, the two equal sections. So that is two thirds. Let's do another example and mix it up a little bit more. Let's say I were to ask you what blank times, well, blank times one fifth is equal to three fifths. What would be blank in your mind? Well, the way that my brain likes to imagine this is let's split a whole into fifths. So one, two, three, four, five. So these are, this is five fifths here, although none of them have been filled in. And if I wanted to represent three fifths, I could fill in three of them. So three fifths would be one, two, and three. So how many did I have, how many times did I have to multiply one fifth by? That's a fifth. So that's one times one fifth, two times one fifth and three times one fifth. Well, I had to multiply it by three. So three times one fifth is literally three fifths, or three one fifths, depending on how you want to think about it. Let's do one last example. Let's say someone were to walk up to you on the street and say, hey, you, what's four? four? Well, they'd say, hey, you, four times blank is equal to four thirds. What is blank going to be? Well, I'll give you a little bit of a hint. It might involve thirds, because at the end we get four of these thirds. So one way to think about it is I could, I could take some holes and divide them into thirds. Actually, I'll do two holes right over here, and I'll divide them into thirds. Now, four thirds would be filling in four of these thirds. So one two, three, and four. So you can see another way of thinking about this. That's one whole and another third, or we could think of it as four thirds. But what just happened here? I just had four times what? Well, I had four times this square right here, because that's one, two, three, and four. I multiplied four times a third. So four times a third is four thirds.